Hi, I'm Mark, the poster specialist for the Prop Store, and I'd like to welcome you to this preview for our forthcoming Cinema Poster Live auction taking place on Thursday, April the 22nd. And today we're looking at a group of four lots listed in our horror category. Three form what has affectionately been dubbed by fans the Triumvirate of Terror, with the fourth, the movie that was without argument, the inspiration for the first three. Lot number 300, Psycho, is the inspiration. And without this masterpiece by Alfred Hitchcock, it's doubtful the others would have been made. By introducing the world to Norman Bates in 1960, the horror subgenre of the slasher movie was born. No other movie has packed as much horror, suspense and psychological obsession as this one. Reissued many times since it first shocked audiences, this linen-backed US one sheet is from the first re-release in 1965 and carries the same artwork as the 1960s poster, showing a half-naked Janet Lee, with the addition of a bright red printed snipe stating it's back. The following three posters that form the aforementioned Triumvirate of Terror is a selection of US one sheets which are part of a large personal collection consigned to us by the Hollywood producer and screenwriter Brian Fuller whose most recent successes include the TV shows American Gods and Hannibal. You can check out Brian's other lots throughout the auction as they are clearly noted as the Brian Fuller Collection and run from lot number 304 to 380. The three titles here all introduce horror characters who have become synonymous with the slasher genre and are as important and influential as the Universal Monsters were of the 1930s. Lot number 306 highlights the distinctive silhouette style artwork of Alex Ebel as the hockey mask Jason Voorhees terrorises, for the first time in this case, the students of Camp Crystal Lake in Friday the 13th. A multitude of sequels and remakes have been released since this US one sheet debuted in 1980, but none have been able to match the quality and innovation of this original design. Lot number 308 is John Carpenter's Halloween with this poster being from the first year of release, 1978, and it's noted for its classic, creepy, jack-o'-lantern style artwork by Bob Gleason, and it introduced the audiences to modern horror icon that is Michael Myers, or as he's referred to in the film, The Shape. This example was printed with the all-important blue and green ratings box, which signified it was one of the very first posters off the printing press, and much, much scarcer than the regular black ratings box examples. Lot number 311 features the stylish artwork of Matthew Peake and features not just one of horror's most evil characters, but certainly the one with the most personality. Freddy Krueger was launched into the world by Wes Craven in 1984 with A Nightmare on Elm Street, and in this poster his face is cleverly obscured by Peake's artwork, it's just his trademark razor claw gloves that garner the attention. Each poster is eye-catching and memorable in its own way, and were key factors in creating the myth and mystique which surrounds these horror icons, so it's surprising that only Matthew Peake returned to artistic duties as he illustrated the next four Nightmare sequels. Our horror category is one of the largest in the auction, with these examples being just a small selection from what is an incredible collection of titles from the genre. If you have any questions about these four items, or any others you may have seen in our fully illustrated online catalogue, then please email me, mark at propstore.com, or you can view the full catalogue at propstore.com forward slash poster auction. And of course, you can join us live on the 22nd of April to see these amazing pieces of movie history go under the hammer. Thank you for watching today.